Myself, I'm Harnish. Uh, I'm the uh, digital marketing man. I'm uh, working as a digital marketing manager with Apple. Apple is a relatively young company, it's a 2007 Singapore-based company, which is into mobile application development and mobile marketing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to here present about uh, uh, Cricket Marathi, which is basically cricket ratings going mobile, and it is a mobile advertisement that we ran for Marathi uh, around the time of ICC Cricket World Cup and the su uh, subsequent IPL season. So. I'll just begin with it. I mean, uh, sometime back in early 2011, Marathi had come to us uh, with a couple of objectives that they had. The first was that Marathi was already uh, kind of actively involved in sponsoring the ICC Cricket World Cup 2011, which was held in India, and the subsequent IPL Season 4. And they wanted to kind of leverage that association that, we, that they had with both the World Cup and the IPL on the, on the mobile platform. And they were also at that time coming up with their new SX4 diesel car which was a car which was being primarily targeted towards 25 to 35 year old people and they, they, were, they were looking at announcing the launch for, the, for that car so they, they came up came up to us uh, to, to kind of design a kind of a mobile marketing campaign uh, keeping both these objectives in mind so what we did was that we decided to create a user generated cricket rating system on mobile which was at that time the first user-generated cricket trading system on mobile in India and has been till now we are proud to say the largest user-generated cricket trading system on mobile. So, so the background for this was that, I mean we all know that we Indians are very passionate about cricket. I mean cricket and Bollywood is probably two things that keep us all together. And also we, a lot of us Indians are kind of obsessed with the cricket statistics and all. We are always, we would probably remember to the second decimal place what was the average of, the, of, the, of a batsman or a bowler. And, uh, one part of that obsession was that we are, uh, I mean, us Indians are really kind of obsessed with the cricket ratings as well. I mean, so we would always know which, which, which batsman is at the top, top of the ranking or which bowler is at the top of the ranking. However, the problem was that most of these ratings were being uh, driven by experts who would use some, some complex statistics to come up with a particular rating. There, were, there was no rating system which was being kind of uh, driven, driven by the end users or the end people who were, who were watching cricket. So, so to kind of... Uh, to, to give the decision back to the people who are actually watching cricket, we decided to create a whole user-generated cricket rating system in which the end user would have the power to actually rate their players. And for this, we used our unique leaderboard technology which will accumulate different, different scores which were being given to different players by the users and hence come up with the proper kind of a rating system which was completely user-driven. There were no experts involved, no complex statistics involved. If I give a point to say five points to Sachin Tendulkar, that would be added to his score. So it was as simple as it got. Uh, the, the basic concept behind this website was that users were, as I mentioned to you, users would give points to players. Uh, users were limited to giving 20 points per day and they could give at most 10 points per player. Uh, these ratings would then add on to the cumulative score for the player. Users, apart from the, uh, giving points to players, they would, they, would get, uh, they would also earn points for different actions like referring friends, predicting the man of the match, match winners, etc. However, they got the highest points when, when the rating given uh, by them would, would match to the average rating which was given to that particular player by the rest of the, uh, rest of the country. Uh, both the player points and the end user points were uh, generated or, and were sorry, maintained through our leaderboard uh, technology. And at the end of the day, uh, the top ranked player would be crowned the Maharathi and the top scoring user would qualify for the weekly or the overall prize. Uh, to, to take, so this was a concept that we had, but to take that concept to the end user, what we did was that first of all, we created a uh, Cricket Maharathi mobile application. Uh, and kind of, uh, it had, which this, this application had all the content on it. And there were obviously different content sections along with sponsorship brandings. This application was distributed through through some of the leading app stores like Mobango, Getjar, Hand and Go, Airtel App Store, Ovi, etc. Uh, this is this is the screenshot of the homepage of that app. Uh, this is another an, another screenshot. As I mentioned, I mean it had it had all the content available on the app it, itself, so that the user could was just probably one click away from being on that site, and it would be easily accessible. We also created a website. Uh, on it and this this website was was present on the leading sports portals operating portals sns sites uh, this is this is these are some of the screenshots of that website that we had created uh, whenever user would come to that website for the first point first time he would have to enter his mobile number to get started uh, there was a basic help section on that mobile site this is the player the, the the screenshot of the third screenshot is the one where the user actually gives gives the final ratings to the players uh, this, this website, I mean, for, for your information, is it's still active on m.cricketmaharathi.com. Uh, these are some other screenshots, I mean, about the overall scores, etc. 
to 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 amplify amplify this thing i mean to amplify this cricket marathi concept and to make it reach out to to the maximum people i mean we kind of promoted it through the different messaging mediums first was our own sms2 medium on which we used to run regular advertisements uh these are these are an example of some of the advertisements that we ran on our sms2 portal then there were obviously push smss that were being sent at that time uh, to to people uh then the mobile internet the website that i had mentioned about it was promoted on different mno portals like airtel live reliance tata docomo this is an example of it being promoted on airtel live this as you can see is an example of it was promoted on different sports portals like one of the most common one which is mobile espn again one of the examples on on your top uh this is the complete banner and then they were they were also kind of promoted on different social networking websites like m campus friends or ebuddy etc to to uh, to keep the user interest uh, there were frequent creative changes as per so the creative would be changed every day depending on what, whatever was a match that was being played in that day uh there were there were different content seedings that were done different trivia questions different polls etc and at the end of the day for user gratification there were different prizes that were given weekly and of the there was there was a grand prize uh to the to the most important part what was the result of this this campaign so as i had mentioned at the beginning i mean uh, maruti the first objective that maruti had when they came to us was to reinforce maruti's brand amongst youths across the country by leveraging maruti's association with cricket during icc cricket world cup 2011 and the ipl season so i mean The, the campaign reached out to more than two, uh, 20 million users the application that we had created was was downloaded by more than 45000 uh, people in the first two weeks uh, the the release uh, about this partnership was published on 30 plus publications there were frequent contest updates there were more than 40 million impressions which were delivered over 6 million engagements captured engagement here means a user voting or or clicking on a banner and there were 15% engagements were geared through through user referrals the second objective the second objective that we had was to announce the launch of SX4 diesel uh, car uh, so there was a click on banner on the website which led to the maruti toll free number and maruti received more than 8700 requests for test drives there were 120 more than 126000 wallpaper downloads and more than 1 million cricket maruti link forwards uh, these were so i mean these were basically the results which were generated at our end i mean maruti itself uh, through their own uh, uh, agencies etc did, did their own uh, uh, measured measured it on the, in their own way they had their own uh, brand engagement in agencies etc which measured the results and as you can see on the screen these were the some of the the results which were measured by maruti on their own end which which they shared with us and there was there was an increase on almost all the parameters beat the inquiries beat the uh, inbound beat the top of the mind recall or beat the unaided awareness i mean all of them had a major major increase post this campaign for maruti so yeah this is this is pretty much it uh, about the cricket maruti campaign that we had uh, any questions himanshu from prize water house coopers uh, first and foremost uh, is this rating uh, being f uh, being endorsed by any of the official body like bcci icc etc or is it just a user uh, based uh, rating no so it is not uh, endorsed by any of the official i mean uh, agencies which are uh, in a way related to cricket it was just a campaign that we did for maruti suzuki So is it a one time uh, thing or you tend to basically extend it for the over the period of time at that time it was one time thing but in in future i mean if, if maruti or say for example someone else comes comes to us then definitely will be looking to kind of extend this further why i'm asking you is that uh, because sometimes back the initiative like super selector or uh, some kind of a uh, mobile game shows etc right, right. they did not uh, basically project or uh, garnered that many revenues that mm -hmm. much revenue mm -hmm. there was a mobile apps pertaining to that right. so in that regards how do you see the sustainability of uh, the the application that you have built over the period of time as i said i mean at the time when we kind of uh, began this campaign it was a it was supposed to be a three month campaign that we would run for maruti for the duration of the world cup and the subsequent ipl season uh, ipl 4 season so it was it was i mean when it was designed it was designed as a three month campaign which we did successfully for maruti uh, so that was the, that was a basic idea through which we kind of uh, went ahead with this campaign but yes in the future if there there, there is another uh, uh, some some other uh, customer of ours a kind of approaches us for something similar then we can definitely look at kind of creating a sustained model over of say a period of year or uh, one year or two years Mm-hmm. Not exactly because at the end of the day, I mean, there there has to be something in it for for the that person also. I mean, Marathi, it made sense for for Marathi to go with us and for, to go for such kind of a model because Marathi at that time was the leading sponsor for the Cricket World Cup and the IPL season. So they were already sponsoring this, and they just wanted to leverage that that sponsorship on the mobile medium. 
and they were at that time also coming up with the SX4 diesel car launch. So it made sense and I mean for them, for, for, for the, that car launch, they, their target audience was generally 25 to 35 year old people. And what we thought was that, I mean, if you look at that kind of an age group, I mean, they, were, they would generally be interested in cricket. So for, at, for us at that time, it made sense for us to be kind of associated with cricket because of the kind of target audience that uh, Marathi had, A, and B, because Marathi was already kind of uh, sponsoring the Cricket World Cup and the IPL season. So that means I can uh, sum up very easily that uh, it was you had that cricket Marathi program in mind and then the advertisers came on board, not the other way around. It was the other way around. So Marathi came to us saying that these are the two objectives that we had. How can you leverage those two objectives? So for that we designed the cricket Marathi thing. That is what my question was. It was an advertiser driven uh, thing which you waved around. Right, right, right. Okay. Mm, any other questions? Thank you. So Mr. Harnish will be presenting uh, another presentation that is serial number 2, Vaseline dressing room beyond the pitch. So I mean uh, this is this is another campaign that we had uh, for, for we ran for HUL uh, basically around the Vaseline's uh, men uh, face wash and uh, again I mean it was I mean as most of you would have already seen again it was uh, related to cricket in some way. So anyways so I mean Vaseline at that time was was launching their, their their main face wash and they wanted to create some 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 kind of a user interest around it. So what we thought was again, I mean, as I'd mentioned in my previous presentation, that cricket is uh, a way in which, I mean, cricket is something that is a, a kind of a, a creates an interest amongst all of us. So and I mean, we Indians, as I said, I mean, we are we are kind of obsessed with cricket news, cricket statistics, and all. However, what we wanted was that we created a mobile magazine for for uh, which was which was promoted through through uh, which had the Vaseline brand name integrated in it. <coughs> Something different about this mobile magazine was that uh, it was it was uh, it was not very related to any on-field news that was happening. It was more of it was focused on the off-field action that was happening, the gossip around the cricketers, what they were doing in the post-match parties, etc. Which which Bollywood actors they were they were hanging out with, and what were the chats that were happening in the team bus after the match. So that was something different about this mobile magazine. So obviously the first question that you would you would kind of ask me is that from where would we actually get such kind of a content? I mean everyone knows what is happening on the cricket field, but how would you get to know what is happening beyond the cricket field? So for that, what we did was we had actually roped in a leading cricket columnist who is in a leadership role with one of the uh, IPL teams. He is actually currently involved in one of the IPL teams which was in news in the IPL season 1. I would not want to name it but this team was in news in IPL season 1 for a lot of off the field gossip and its, its owner is obviously one of the major actors in Bollywood. So there was a leading cricket column, columnist who was involved with that IPL team who kind of provided us with different, different content which was more related to off the field action that was happening. So it was exclusive content which was happening about say what was happening in the team bus or what did the ma players do post the match victory and all of that stuff. So it was more related to the gossipy side of the cricket rather than on what was actually happening on the field because that was being anyways reported by there were enough and more uh, content uh, created on what was happening on the field. And a lot of it was kind of pre-packaged content, there were different trivia etc that were being, being, being uh, mentioned. Uh, this 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 mobile magazine that we created was present in three uh, three of us. One was obviously a mobile mag, uh, application that was created and distributed across all app stores. Then there was a web destination that was created, uh, and there were there were the content was being disseminated through through other other platforms. So if there was a breaking news, it would be sent through SMS to etc. Or there would be a content special content feed that would be created. Uh, to promote uh, this this magazine, uh, we did different press releases. I mean, there were releases. I mean, both AFL and HUL. I mean, we had releases in more than 22 digital and print magazines. Uh, it was integrated into the, into the SMS2 live dashboard integration, where people could actually click on WhatsApp and they would have the dressing room banner there. Uh, there were there were the there was a website bookmark that was created on 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 dressing room uh, on on sorry SMS2. Uh, it was again promoted on, there were, there were different zones that were created, so for example we tied up with ESPN at that time and there was a dressing room zone that was created on ESPN which would have exclusive uh, news. Uh, there, there, were, there were obviously, uh, we also had tie-ups tie with uh, M Campus etc. There was a dressing room zone on Airtel Live. Uh, there were subscription packs that were created for both Tata and SMS, uh, uh, for, for Tata Docomo and on SMS2 etc. And it was integrated with SMS2 leaderboard. Uh, these are some of the uh, screenshots that we have. 
it to to increase the reach we promoted it through sms2 we promoted it, uh, it through different mobile uh, network operators portals we promoted it through sport portals through, through social networking and through different uh, app stores again a few screenshots on how this this actually happened and we also had a had a tie up with red fm so i mean uh, if if uh, a lot of you would remember at that time there were there were a there was a evening show on on red fm at that time which was happening which was called dalit bhai ke sms in which they would we would actually be promoting the dressing room content and these are again some of the screenshots uh, to, to so obviously the question was and how how vaccine was kind of integrated with this whole concept so i mean there there was a, uh, the, the, uh, the the look and feel of the website was integrated with vaccine's brand color integration the logo unit so the logo unit that was designed was keeping in mind again Vas uh, it it incorporated vaseline's logo unit and it had the same color feel and the different uh, content uh, content sections were renamed for example ipl ke kisse section was renamed as long lasting kahani uh, we we created through through this campaign more than 1 million engagements uh, the content reached out to more than 8 million users on mobile uh, we created more than 26 mil, mil impressions and there were daily views of more than 400000 that were achieved and we in, in in the end of it we received more than 60000 sms subscribers